This Monday night props and week three recap edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. Bet a hundred dollars at WinBet and get a hundred dollar free bet. Head over to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash winbet. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash W Y N N B E T to claim your free bet today. We're also ready by the SGPN merch store. From now until Tuesday, get 20% off when you use the promo code NFC Beast. Hey, what's up, you degenerate gamblers? This is Bill Burr, and you're listening to SGPN. Let it ride, baby. Everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner in picks Ryan. Real money Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. Uh, how did we do that? How did we do today? How, how did every, every everything go well? You is know, that, is everyone doing all right? Everyone's health, doing all right. Mental health check for everyone. It was. Uh, I'm feeling pretty <laughs> fucking good. Started early. It stayed late, and then unfortunately, uh, it turns out Jimmy G. Jimmy G. Worse could than... not complete the sweep. One and one of my locks did hit the money line. Dog Ryan, I have not. I am three and zero oh right now on the season on the money line. Dog, and that is uh, that is carrying me. Only one and one with the uh, locks today because of Jimmy G. and his. Uh, he really blew it. Um, but Kramer, two and zero oh with your locks. Uh-huh. Uh, a wild six and zero. Oh. Let's oh. go. Have, I mean, a lot, lot of green on the sheet right now. I ha, have not suffered a lock loss yet. No, that's an alliteration that I like to say. <laughs> Twice on Sunday night. I, I mean, Sean, it was really about the first half parlay. That's what yes. set the tone for the whole day. Oh my god! Even though uh, cousin Mush, sh- uh, shout, stay tuned for later in the episode. Oh wow! Even though he attempted to mush it with eyeball emojis before the last game had gone <laughs> final. It's like it's so funny because he is a mush. He again he identifies as a mush, and yet even that he cannot uh, stop himself from his mush-like tendencies. It's uh it's really classic. Hey, recap show, which means we're live. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Discord. Call in. Appreciate the YouTube chats, but uh, get in. Uh, mix it up. Rant and rave. Put someone in a locker. Just raise your hand in the uh, post game uh, live uh, Discord channel. We'll get you on the air. A lot to get to, and then of course our Monday night football props. Listen to that sweet, sweet music. The National Football League is coming. Monday night props. I mean, get out your hammer. Head over. Start building your own bet over at sportsgamblingpodcast.com. Slash win bet sports gaming podcast.com slash win bet. Their same game parlays alive and well. We're going to give you some of our favorite prop bets later on in the show. Of course, win bet casino open 24 hours, 100% deposit up to $1,000. Win bet again live in Arizona, Colorado, Indiana, Louisiana, Michigan, New Jersey, New York, Tennessee, and Virginia. All you got to do bet $100, get a $100 bet. It is just that simple, just that easy. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash W Y N N B E T to claim your free bet today. Offer subject to change terms and conditions at winbet.com. Let's be 21 or older and present in the state where play through winbet is available. If you or someone you know is a gambling problem, call 1 800 522 4700. Hola, Ryan. That is, of course, hello in Espanol, and I've been learning Spanish thanks to Babel. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo as Malo at football Americano. Ooh. Jimmy Garoppolo is bad at football. Uh, he doesn't know what he's doing back there. But hey, if you want to know what you're doing when it comes to speaking another language, you got to check out Babbel. That's B A B B E L. It's addictively fun and easy, bite sized language lessons. Again, it's you know, you're uh, you know you're knocking stuff out on your phone. Uh, why not do this uh, with Babbel? You can. I mean, you only need ten minutes to complete a lesson. 
Uh, it's really fun. You got a big trip coming up. You want to impress a lady friend, whatever it is. Uh, Babbel is great for that. 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. They have speech recognition technology, which helps you pronounce stuff correctly. I know I could use that help as always. They got games, videos, podcasts, and a 20 day money back guarantee. If for some reason you don't like it right now, Get up to 55% off your subscription when you go to babble.com slash SGP. That's B A B B E L dot com slash SGP. B A B B E L dot com slash SGP for up to 55% off your subscription. Babble, language for life. Ryan is a, a, a tradition unlike any other unplugging and replugging the phone line uh, for the Discord. I don't mean to step on this beautiful uh, Espanol. That you were speaking, but the, 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 right. the user experience, Telefono. the user, uh, it's muy dificado. the user, user experience <laughs> with uh discordio <laughs> as muy mal. Well, discordo, discordo <laughs> is not a sponsor. So feel free to uh, bash them all you want. All right. Let's I, get, I think we're operating. Let's get to the picks. And again, we're live. Take your call. Raise your hand in the discord. We'll get you on. I see that. I see a bunch of regulars in there. Come on. Let's go hop on. Let's chat. All right. Let's get to the um, let's get to the recap. I mean, like I said, uh, Kramer two and zero with the locks didn't hit his dog. I went one and one with the locks, but did hit my dog. We are now nine and six, Ryan, in our Circa Millions contest. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this has to be it's our not best. A, not a bad start for us. It's a it's our best start all time, right? Uh. It's certain. I mean, for us to be sixty percent in a situation where we're almost certainly not, we're in a in a position where we could be five hundred after four weeks. Yeah, that's that's a win. I would say that's something we've only done a couple of times. So yeah, this is probably one of our best starts. As sad as that sounds. Well, we usually start slow, but uh, fast start. Browns twenty nine, Steelers seventeen. Uh, I mean, Steelers again. I I think we hit on it earlier, but they really pushed out. Went for the. They had momentum. They actually had a chance to get that backdoor cover. Instead, kick the field goal, and then when they get the ball back, they fumble it out of bounds. They killed my tees. Those bastards. Uh, That's that, horrible. I I hit all the other two out of the l- three legs, and Kramer hit your tees. I wasn't even gonna smartly. Bring that up. Smartly did not include <laughs> the Steelers there. That was an all-time horrible tees uh, break. So uh, screw you, not, Steelers. Not the lo- not Sean. If you remember, not the first time a Steelers game has come down to screw yes. some people. Shout out to Troy Palomalo and his hair. He well, was that involved. one was different. That one helped me out. So. Wow. So you remember that fondly? Yes. So now you're even. <laughs> the gambling uh, gods. The, I know. Take, that's the thing. You take it the way. you stay around uh, long enough in this game, and you'll see it go <laughs> both ways. Although, again, still have never seen a field goal kick like Texas. Uh, or the, the Texas A and M Arkansas game where it landed on top of the field goal uh, pole. Just, I mean, that's insane. Uh, what do we got here? Ravens get the win and the cover against the uh, New England Patriots. It's a baby fucking wheel, man. Uh, Thirty-seven twenty-six. A little bit in doubt here. Nice, a little back and forth. Uh, Lamar uh, gave us some nice points in our high stakes ETH league. It was one of my locks. Um, and and apparently Jimmy G did something to his ankle. He he looked really rough getting off the field. I was a little Mac, worried. Mac Jones, but that was a funny. What did I call him? <laughs> Jimmy G. No, I mean, come on, should have been Jimmy G. Uh, if and, Jimmy G went to Alabama, that's what yes. he'd look like. Uh, they 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 do. Who's seem, the backup? Well, that uh, Joe Hoyer. Judge. No, I, <laughs> yeah, he's gonna put in Joe Judge, Matt Patricia. You know, friend of the. He's gonna he's gonna put in his uh, good buddy uh, Joe Judge there for the offense. Uh, they got it done. I mean, I was certainly nervous when the news came out about Ronnie Stanley uh, not playing and how much the public was on this with mm, me. It's true. Uh, but again, square guys get one there. Uh, nice win. And of course cover. Yeah. I mean, not much to add. I would say uh, Baltimore has been a frustrating team this year. Yeah. I mean, the fact that they lost to Miami, the fact, uh, yeah. I, I mean, Lamar looks good. Lamar looks like he almost a little bit like Kyler. He's resisting uh, running it and then he runs it. It's like, oh, shit, I'm really good at running it. I should run <laughs> it more. Uh, yeah. Good to see Dobbins back in the field, Sean. So yeah. shout out to JK. JK Dobbins, Ryan, coming up after the grave. Uh, Dolphins 21, Bills 19. Uh, we were both on the Dolphins here, plus six and a half. They get the win, they get the cover. Uh, of course, everyone saw the video of uh, 
<laughs> Ken Dorsey destroying the tablet, even though he must not have gotten the memo. Apparently there was a memo put out about not destroying the tablets. He completely destroyed his. I, I mean, again, this was, I don't even think the bills played that bad of a game. Uh, Tua got knocked out and then somehow came back from his concussion. Yeah, Although they claimed it was a back injury, the NFLPA is investigating. Yeah, I, I looked into it. The dude got knocked out. Um, but hey, shout out to Tua again. Shout out to you, Big Rob. Miami Dolphins three and zero. Fins up wow. again. I, I'm not. I'm. I'm here to adjust to new data. Tua looked good. <laughs> uh, he, he, I mean. Kudos to him. Came back after getting his oh, bell yes. rung at the very least. Completed the deep pass. That was what they needed to get those points. Uh, felt like the plus six and a half was never really that much of a sweat there. Uh, yeah, and yet strangely, I think this is one that we'll hear about all week in the box score about how Buffalo outgained, out first down. Another. I, I haven't seen the the post game win expectancy numbers, but I would imagine Buffalo was probably a. This is now back to back weeks where Miami was probably a heavy dog in the post game expectancy. Yeah, and and yeah, shout out to to Ken Dorsey, uh, showing us all his University of Miami education <laughs> there, acting like a fucking baby, <laughs> and also showing us what it looks like when Daddy's no longer around, aka <laughs> Brian Dable. I told you there would be an impact on this offense. I t- and what was it? Ken Dorsey. I mean, that, did you see the assistant slide the hand over the camera at the end? He realized what was happening. He's like, "Shit, <laughs> this isn't gonna look good." Uh, now, now they're gonna have to a- answer questions about that. Josh Allen certainly on a path to getting hurt. I, this is uh, the world we're living in has the Miami Dolphins undefeated in the National Football League. Eagles, uh, I think uh, Eagles are the only three and O team in the NFC. That would be glorious. Dolphins are the only three and O team. In the AFC, it two, is two one hurts. <laughs> they played on the same Alabama, team. Alabama balling out. Alabama. Uh, shout out to D Bettis saying uh, in the YouTube chat, my eight year old son uh, did an eight team teaser ticket and won. Uh, I mean, send that in. Uh, you can tweet it at Gambling Podcast or uh, just email us podcast at sportsgamblingpodcast dot com. But yeah, I mean, that sounds like something that would uh, we will certainly discuss whether or not to nominate you for. Uh, Real men of DJs, well, but that uh, certainly is in the mix. Earlier in the chat, you might have missed mixed it. RT p- calling out that he hit a 161 to win 14,800. Really, dollar parlay. Uh, looks like he had. He lists out some of the teams. I thought maybe not, but he also looks like he lost. Hashtag Dejans only. It looks like he may have lost some of that money back on Jimmy G. So shout out to to <laughs> RT for hitting a, a full blown Dejans. Oh, here it is. Titans, Colts, Ravens, Packers, Rams, Pan- Panthers, and Eagles. Oh in a my parlay. god! Fuck oh yes. That felt like it was going to be a bit of a bloody Sunday. I, I think some games did turned out that way, but some some games definitely went the public's way. Right? Like yes. it, it wasn't as bad as it could have been with the Colts winning outright and the <laughs> Dolphins winning outright. Uh, what do we got? Bengals twenty-seven, Jets twelve. Pretty ugly game. Um, uh, T Higgins got knocked out again. Uh, looked like another concussion, and yeah, uh, I, I don't know what else to say about this game. Uh, Jamar Chase got a touchdown. Didn't it just wasn't a particularly pretty game. But again, Bengals desperately needed a win. Jets suck. Uh, Kramer locked this up. It was a fairly easy play. Uh, we were both on it here. Since he minus five, let's go. Yeah, I mean, the, the uh, although I will say the Jets continue to not look horrible. Yeah, the the Bengals did what a desperate team that is decent does, and they 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 woke up. They defended their ground, even though it was on the road. And uh, what is the news on T Higgins? Do we have any news on T Higgins? I didn't. I didn't, I didn't see it. I didn't see anything. I'm worried that this is a second concussion in in back to back weeks. Yeah, but um, certainly Boyd came in, looked pretty good. But also Hayden Hurst got hurt, so I, I think they gotta. I would definitely track the 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 injury report for the Bengals this week because, you know, being down to just Boyd and Chase, it, it, maybe that's enough. Uh, depending on who you're playing, but oh, the, don't not to look ahead. They have the high flying Miami Dolphins Uh-oh. on deck. That actually should be a good game, um, and I think they're catching three points. I would keep oh. an eye on that. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if. Uh, the two a concussion shows up during the week, and maybe he's not. I think that's the Thursday night game, so so keep an eye on that one. <laughs> you give two a rest. <laughs> I, I mean, 
he might he might all of a sudden find himself in the protocol and not be able to clear okay. it in time. Vikings 28, Detroit Lions 24. Brian, you talked me out of Detroit plus six. True. They were they they should have won that game. They really were in control for a long period of time. Uh completely blew it. And then didn't they did get the cover, so shout out to them. Again, another division dog. And uh yeah, I I what was See, your takeaway from this game? Steven uh in the chat also pointing out that uh, T Higgins had had an injury also being reported as a back injury. <laughs> so <laughs> yes. that th- these teams are getting smart about the uh the concussion stuff. Uh I, I mean <laughs> this all all the all Detroit does is cover spread, Sean. Yeah. All they do is cover spreads. 3 and 0 ATS. 3 3 and 0 ATS. There are there are now uh, Dan Campbell continue He's like the how, best coach at losing and covering spreads. How many teams are three and zero against the spread? Ooh, that is a good question. I'll say four, two. Detroit and Miami, <laughs> and Miami's won all their games too. That's yeah. insane. Overvalued. I mean, they're they're outperforming the market too. Nothing makes sense in the universe we live in right now. But yeah, I mean, look, uh, Detroit continues to cover spreads, and I think that, you know, in hindsight, maybe we should have seen this and be like, Oh yeah, this is just a, a spot where you take Detroit. And then again, zooming ahead to next week, Sean, all of a sudden Jared Goff uh, laying six points. Don't care who they're playing. I want to look more into that situation. So uh, I saw another nugget on the old internet. Uh, I think this might've been Mike from Mike clay, but both Detroit lions running backs, top seven <laughs> in scoring. Really? Yeah. It, I mean, they could, been- could be standard, uh, but either way. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's crazy crazy what we're seeing because this, this is kind of what some predicted, which is the offense taking a nice step forward. I, I don't think anyone saw Mara St. Brown, like transcending into one of the elite receivers in the league. Uh, but the defense is still bad, which means this is a team that's going to, they're going to lose some close games like this. They're going to let Kirk cousins come back in the game. And that's what happened. Kirk Cousins, 10 AM or 1 PM Kirk cousins. Just fine. Bears 23, Texans 20, Ryan. This was uh tough. We had Texans on the card at two and a half. We picked it at two and a half. There were some threes floating around in the week, so maybe you got that push <sighs> if you were on the Texans. Man, I'm th- worried. They they play, yeah. They Hold play. on, let me sound the alarm. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking news. We may not win four hundred grand. Um, that was it's a like tough we- loss. For the Texans, man, they they turned them over. They ran the ball well. They don't have any wins. It feels like they should have a win. Uh, come on, they're two zero and one against the spread, uh, <laughs> according to Stephen B. And that obviously you're counting that uh, yeah. this last game is a tie. No, it's a loss for us. Uh, Damian Pierce looked really good. You know who else looked really good? Khalil Herbert. A gr- I feel like I caught so much shit for her the amount of times I drafted Khalil Herbert in underdog. He's in like thirty three percent of my teams. He oh. had a he had himself a game, Ryan. They are not they're not reporting it as a high ankle sprain, so perhaps he won't be out that long. I think I saw some initial reports that it was a high ankle sprain, which would probably be four to six weeks minimum. Yeah, Herbert looks like he's gonna ball out. Oh, dude, he was always a dude that could find a lane. Twenty for one fifty seven and two touchdowns. Just watch his tape. He knows how to find the lane. He's just one of those runners. He's, he's like instinctual. He, he's like Damian Pierce, who had a really good game as well. Twenty for eighty. And a touchdown for Damian Pierce. I mean, this is you got to win this one, Texans. I mean, I'm, I, I'm the I'm only worried. positive for me was my my Bears over win total, which again I've caught a lot of flack for. Yep. Somehow they have a winning record. There's uh, a guy on Twitter who reminds me every time they win. <laughs> it's <laughs> two and one. <laughs> that, winning that, that, record. My, my prediction was three and fourteen. <laughs> they're almost they're they're halfway there, Ryan. <laughs> uh, what do we got? Chiefs. Oh man, who could have seen this coming? Oh. I. I got cute. I faded the um, close your eyes special. Ryan, of course, repped it correctly. Uh, Colts win outright twenty to seventeen. This is the kind of game that this is why they made the close your eyes yeah. special. Go for watch it. Go watch games the like this where they had, Colts had no business winning this game. Um, you know, it's like muff punts, miss penalties. Uh, you know, mistakes by the Chiefs. Like it was just, it's just a textbook, textbook um, game. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. It, it, Kelsey, um, f- only four for fifty-eight. Should have had more. They should have got him going more. Juju had a nice game, five for eighty-nine. Uh, dude, Matt Ryan looks like the worst quarterback in the league. You look at his numbers: twenty-seven for thirty-seven, two twenty-two, and two touchdowns. You're like, oh, that guy's good. 
he's 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 got to be like bottom four quarterbacks. He right looks now. like like a toy being thrown from a dog's mouth every time <laughs> he gets sacked. Yeah, that's actually that's the Photoshop. We need Matt Ryan in a weird contorted uh, as a chew toy laying on the ground being chewed on by maybe Buddy. Maybe we can have yes. Buddy wearing some some sort of, sort of <laughs> football jersey chewing on. Uh, let's make that happen. All right. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, this is, you watch the shortcut. It's the, this is how a close your eyes special happens. Well, Sean, you want some bad special teams? I'll give you some bad special teams. Fake you, field goal gone wrong. <laughs> you want some fourth down conversions Miss failed field goal. You want some random penalties. <laughs> uh, it, it, you want some down balls at the one yard line. Yeah. It's, it, it, we had it all. Th this is what happens when, oh, uh oh. Was Tyree Hill the special sauce in Kansas City? <laughs> Could just read it right now. Yeah, uh, yeah. Chiefs miss Tyree Hill, not explosive. Tyree Hill thriving with more accurate passer. Yeah, uh, Chiefs. Chiefs will be all right. Um, really, you're not worried about I'm, the Chiefs? I'm a tiny bit worried. No, this, the, uh, this, this is a road Colt, game. We're gonna look back at this. I know Colt's it was a close really race. They were. This is a bad team. Matt Ryan's a bad quarterback. He did multiple well, Carson Wentz things in this game and beat he beat Patrick Mahomes. And and what's what's your MVP race looking like right now, Ryan? Because the two gods, Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, fa have fallen. And from those ashes rises up the rare breed himself, Jalen Hurts. We'll get to him in a second. Uh, before we do that, no house advantage. Oh, oh man, uh, I really like this format. Uh, we, we gave out a bunch of picks with Moonoff. Uh, Wait, it hold is, on. You sound like a guy who won some money in the contest. No, I, okay. I I don't even know how much I've won. I it's I well, I'll get to I'll get to my DFS winnings uh when we get to the Raiders, Ryan. <laughs> but again, uh no house advantage. It's it's so fun because it's it's DFS, but instead of salary cap, you're picking player props. Yeah. So again, I know there's a lot of uh sharp guys in our Discord, uh guys like Moonoff, a bunch of other guys in the NFL gambling podcast giving out good plays, and they cover for like NASCAR, MMA. PGA and NBA. Once that comes back, MLB, I think is still going uh, NFL and it's uh, it's, it's legal in a lot more States. Yes. No house advantage.com promo code SGPN. Get a first deposit match up to $25. Download the app or just go to no house advantage.com promo code SGPN. Also brought to you by promo guy.us. It is the best place to go. You're interested in plus EV betting strategies. They got daily updates on odd boosts and huge cash bonuses from all the major books. And they got a VIP discord group that puts even deeper plus EV analytics right at your fingertips. Again, their daily promo updates. Uh, they are some of the most informative in the game. They, they don't simply tell you what team is probable will win, but where you'll get the best odds, how to track down and cash in big on constantly changing promos. If you're not already using mathematical models to help you with your picks, you are missing out on an insanely valuable tool. And best part of all is that promo guy is run by a small team of passionate sports fans dedicated to building a well-informed, better betting community. Go to promoguy.us, check out their hundred percent tracked and transparent proven method for betting smarter. So make sure you check out promo guy.us. We're also brought to you by odds trader. Again, it is your one-stop shop for promos. Uh, the best offers from the best books, plus handicapping data, play by play updates, live scores, bet tracking, player stats, game stats, game day weather. They got it all. Just go to oddstrader.com slash blue wire. That's O D D S trader.com slash blue wire. Odds trader, the number one site for all your game day bets. Kramer, get into this game. And again, close your eyes special. You were correct to take the uh, Tennessee it, Titans. No, no, no. I was not, I was not correct. The system was correct. I, I'm purely, I'm purely a slave to the system here. Well, now it's annoying because I, I want to get back in on the close your eyes special, but I feel like since I'm already, uh, I already faded it twice. <laughs> you know, it's like when you How do the wrong you. thing on the blackjack card, and you're just going to keep doing it no, don't, to balance out don't the do odds. That. Don't be that guy. Don't don't do that, Sean. RT just says I emailed you guys the uh, sick 15k parlay I oh, hit today. Yeah. Check it out. I love a uh, I I do love a good. Guy sending us random parlay hits, Ryan. Uh, it's important to show the wife that too, just so yeah. they understand it's never something that uh, would would get us in trouble. It's only ever parlays. <laughs> hey, dude, check out this sweet bet. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, Titans twenty four, Raiders twenty two. 
Uh, Titans almost blew this. I mean, Titans didn't look good. Uh, Raiders, I don't, I don't think look great. With the notable exception of Matt Collins, <laughs> who I was touting out on the DFS show, well it was done. really great because when Ryan and I built our uh, our team together, Ryan went out of his way to go. You know what? I'm not putting Matt Collins in. I'm going with Keelan Cole. Yeah. Meanwhile, my buddy my Matt Collins, man. eight catches, one fifty eight, and a touchdown. Could have had more. Um, thirty three hundred dollars on your uh, DFS site over there, and uh, help me take home the big boy. Mm. So thank you, Ryan, for mm. reminding me to enter the big boy. I almost forgot again. Well, and you can thank me twice because I late swapped the, the what would have been the winning lineup like a fucking idiot. I still I I, I don't even want to talk about it. It's just a horrible, horrible situation. I mean, it's fine. I got a first half parlay in the bag. Yeah, had a great weekend. Not well, that's some nice wins, Ryan. Come on, not upset. But will will Sean Green be in the big boy next week? That's yeah. the question. Got to run it back when you're mm-hmm. pulling down. Uh, you know, what was twelve. The, how many people were in there? Twelve hundred, or I won twelve hundred. Oh, I think it's winner take all. So yeah, let's go, baby. That was pretty awesome. Shout out to Link Calhoun on Twitter. Yeah. Host uh, of Fight Club. Yes. Dude knows, dude, dude knows what's up, and uh, I wonder if he knows River Craycraft. <laughs> Speaking of the Dolphins. Speaking of the Dolphins, all right, what do we got? Uh, what game is next? Ooh, Carolina Panthers, Ryan. Uh, this was uh, now we have eight TVs, nine if you include God's Eye, but we dedicated one to the Red Zone. So this unfortunately was a game we just really honestly didn't watch a ton and it barely trickled into the red zone. Didn't really matter. <laughs> this was the, the, just the, it was a low key. Like I told you, it, this it is seemed just a to be going well. Spots. So never, never put it on uh, Panthers got the win 22 to 14. As we pointed out, you know uh, it's a great spot for the Panthers. Like saints always historically do really bad in Carolina. It was just, it was just perfect. Uh, um, Jameis had a broken back. I, I also was touting Carolina's defense and fantasy. Uh, got got a touchdown that felt really good. Look, this I I almost need to apologize, Sean. Mm. There was no sweat in my locks. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. We didn't feel anything this week, guys. All we did was was just I, we li- literally played some fucking hopscotch to get to six and zero. Oh. It's re- it's been it, it's it's been a journey to be on this ride, but I apologize for not bringing a sweat this week. I'll try better next week. No, my, the only sweat was the fucking uh, Jimmy G fucking and that was a horrible sweat. <laughs> imagine, um, imagine uh, the Trey Lance backers after watching him uh, dance out of the end zone. I like did Dan I, Orlowski. I did say, uh, I did say put in Trey Lance at some point uh, on Twitter. That was, that was pretty fun. Philadelphia <laughs> Eagles, Ryan, oh, get the win, twenty-four to eight. Uh, back door was shut. It was a, uh, it was just an ass kicking. I mean, again, didn't have to score any points in the uh, in the second half of the game. Um, didn't you know, like, fuck it, Wentz was as expected. I think he took ten sacks. Like it was just, again, shout out to Eagles defense helping me. Uh, again, Scored helping me. Points. Helping me take home the big boy, but um, yeah, it was just it, it was just an awesome game. Again, I continued to say AJ hurt or you know, I almost said AJ hurts. Well, I did say AJ hurts. AJ Brown <laughs> makes Jalen hurts a better what quarterback. What do you dream about? Look Sean? at how look at how good he was throwing the ball. He was running when he was supposed to run. Uh, defense was creating turnovers. They were getting pressure. I know you keep trying to jinx them with your. Super team assemble. Super but team is doing what they're supposed to. I mean, is this the best pot like in your preseason uh like b- private moments when you're thinking about the Eagles season? This is the best possible first three games, right? Yeah. Uh, other than maybe covering in the first week. Yeah. I mean, besides <laughs> that, uh yeah. I mean, what what has gone wrong for this Eagles team? Knock on wood, they covered the spread. Ryan, you got cute, took the uh, commanders. Plus six and a half. I mean, Carson Wentz. That was just a great. That was a classic Carson Wentz performance. It really was. All we were missing was the interception, (laughs) but he didn't really get to it because he wasn't able to throw the ball that often. There was a moment during that game where Jalen Hurts had the same number of touchdowns as Carson Wentz completions. It was three touchdowns to three Uh, completions, and just complete domination. Yeah. No. Look, I I I did think the game was going to have a lot of points. Uh, Fortunately, I got the stack right with with Devonta 
Smith having a massive game. I mean, I got paid off this week in in fantasy, Sean, in in DFS. Well, and again, Devonta Smith is actually um, my most owned guy in underdog <laughs> fantasy. Thanks for asking, Ryan. Nice. He nice. is. Uh, yeah, I mean, forty seven percent of my underdog lineups have Devonta Smith. What a game for him! I mean, it is just uh, Ryan. You got to be pretty nervous, right? I know. I know you've been doing everything <sighs> you can to jinx him, but. Eight for one sixty nine and a touchdown for Devonta. Five for eighty five for a uh, touchdown for AJ Brown. Uh, yeah, what's there to be? Uh, look, uh, the Eagles look unstoppable. Like any su- good super team, yeah, unstoppable. They're like, <laughs> like just like the Energizer Bunny. <laughs> Un- Keep going right. and Un- going. Unstoppable. Uh, look, look, the great win. But this was a bad pick by me. They always they, they had the crowd. Ryan, you missed it because uh, you, you you missed some of the afternoon games. But the uh, unraveling, what did I miss? the unraveling. Oh, I, I had the games on. San Diego. Oh, but you weren't Super watching Chargers. it with. Uh, oh, oh, was he unraveling? <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> poor poor uh, Justin Decker. Angriest I've seen Decker in a while. <laughs> uh, Jags get the win, thirty eight to ten. Uh, I, I mean, again, I I was on the Jags plus seven. Had him in my circa millions uh, entry nice job. With, with a lot of people because of the closing line value. But then it shot up late because it seemed like uh, Herbert was going to play. Herbert played. He didn't look Clearly great. Clearly not healthy. Really, the issue, I mean, I feel like people write this game off because it's like, oh, Herbert, he was banged up. 38 to 10 is more than him being banged up. Their defense was really bad. And it wasn't even the Jack, Jacksonville wasn't being aggressive. They weren't like throwing the ball downfield. It was just like dink and dunk stuff. Doug that, Peterson, that, coach of the year, live. <laughs> that the Chargers had no ability to stop. Ryan, uh, Doug Peterson has now tied Urban Meyer uh, for all times wins as Jacksonville head coach. Uh, that's crazy, right? <laughs> Meyer thirteen games. Peterson did it in three. Well, They're impressive. both tied at two wins. Um, this is an impressive win. Not a good win for our Houston. Win total or a, a division bet. Jacksonville was this is an unscheduled one for Jacksonville and just an ass kick. Goldilocks, maybe we need to come up mm. with a new name. Uh, Evan Ingram's getting involved. Uh, Christian Kirk looks like a stud. Uh, James Robinson busting out fifty-yard runs. I mean, people, it, it's it's kind of a hot take, but have it, have you watched a better team? In the last, I, I guess we throw out the first week, but they've looked really good on both sides of the ball. Yeah, I guess I would just say they also lost to the Commanders um, again. They, first week. Yeah, no, uh, that's. Know, I'm saying over the last two. Well, weeks. Again, specifically and, qualified it over the last. Well, two Well, and they played the Colts at home, which I think that's a situation a spot. spot. This will be this will be a real test for them week four if they can come into Philadelphia and get a win. Uh, hats off to the Jags. I'm doing a lot of transitive property, and it's like, yeah, maybe the Chiefs aren't that good. <laughs> well, the Jags aren't that good. Maybe the NFC is better than we thought. Falcons 27, Seahawks 23. Kramer had the right angle in this one. I, uh, I don't know. It was like two shitty teams. I'll take the home team, but um, yeah, I don't know. The, the, it, this game was pretty ugly. Uh, I guess I should have went with the desperate Falcons At- team. Atlanta's better. They're a better team. I, I mean, they really tried to lose that yeah. though. I mean, they Yeah, they their their <laughs> coach is not good. I'll give you that cuz They 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 had the game in hand. We're driving to kind of like put up more points and then Marcus Mariota just lay, just like fumbles the snap. Seattle picks it up. They're driving and then they, of course they unravel multiple as well. Multiple times. Was, You're starting No to one s- it was a classic no one wants to uh win that game. Perpetually we're going to be talking about the Falcons ready to regress. And and real quick, Sean, what what was the final tally on James Robinson count ca- carry? Sorry, sorry to jump back again. Oh well, yeah, and because I want to dance a little bit because I, that prop was eleven and a half. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll look it up, but uh, yeah, and he he did he was also in my uh, in the lineup I gave out uh, tw- seventeen for a hundred, uh, five and a half, uh, five point nine, and a touchdown. What a, what a recklessly low line. I mean, the, the, these places. It's free money. Let's it's go. Free fucking money. Yeah, no, I mean again, this Atlanta team, they needed this. Yeah. And what what was this? Let's let's pay attention to these times when these teams take the road trips and they hang out with with everyone for for a week. They stayed out on the West Coast. They had some bonding. I I and they went up and took I don't care know. of business. I'm not taking anything away okay. from this. You're you're just a Falcons hater. <laughs> I don't think they look that good. Like they they really tried to lose you know that what's game. Funny? 
is I took uh, I, I took a number of long shot division winner bets this off yeah. season. The Falcons one is my favorite because more more than any, I you can be like, huh, they've at least shown some spunk, and their division has shown some weakness. I mean, shit, the Saints can't win without Taysom Hill. That's a problem. Uh, Packers fourteen, Bucks twelve. That was kind of an annoying uh, way to lose that guy. Uh, what do you mean? Well, I mean the the two point conversion where they they probably had that right play, but they take a delay mm-hmm. a game. You, but you're like you're you're almost backdooring a, a tie if they can get to yeah, overtime. Yeah, I mean, really, <laughs> what killed them was the receiver fumbles. Like they had two separate receiver fumbles that were just back breaking for the drives. Uh, Green Bay, I don't think looked particularly good. Uh, Tampa Bay, obviously, I don't think look great either. Ah, eh, you go on the road, you win in Florida. No, it's a, it's a season. tough spot to win. So you it is Tom Brady. It's a good win for them, but I don't. I didn't take anything away from them. Going, man, this team is better than I thought. Um, no, I still have a lot of concerns for for Green Bay. Well, and I'm still drawing the yeah, draw the line back to Minnesota, and then maybe Tampa's not all that good. Like my tra- I I really the transitive line property lines are. I mean, all they, over look, the they look good against the Bears, but I think teams who can stop the run are are going to be trouble for them. Um, it was just also well, just as someone was asking earlier, who's a more fraudulent two and one team, the Bears or the Broncos? Because I don't know. If <laughs> that is tough. The I Bears. mean, they both look bad. Oh, by a mile. Like uh, honestly, as much as I've hated on the Bears, at least the Bears know what they're doing. But the Bears like, have an identity, they, right? It's, it's a horrible idea, and I don't. I'm <laughs> never gonna like their plan coming into a game. But they seem to be able to go out and run the ball like forty times, play defense. They're, they, they're, they're, the, 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 I the, mean, Khalil Herbert. They have something on offense with the running game, and their defense can play. Broncos have no idea what they're doing. Broncos are just man. Uh, how how you can miss so badly on a head coach? How embarrassing! This is worse than than Kyler having to have study hall time. To to for it to get leaked that you you like you're you were forced to hire a game management advisor and then they're fucking cutting to him on the broadcast. <laughs> what a I mean, it's literally like like uh, hey you know I had to hire this guy to help me fuck my wife. Yes, what? it is. What it's, it's you're co- a head coach. Who else manages the game? <laughs> it's coach cucking. We've witnessed our first coach cuck, and it happens with Nathaniel Hackett. <laughs> We watch uh, Ryan. I've been watching you the NFL for a long Nathaniel time. Nathaniel Cackett, <laughs> Nathaniel Cuckett, um, Nathaniel Hackett is all time cuck. Uh, let's just get to that game. <laughs> is, is is there a chance he gets fired this year? <laughs> I I don't. It's tough because they're two and one, but they uh, all right. All time, they fire him and bring in Pete Carroll. That would be hilarious. <laughs> yeah. uh, what do we got here? Uh, Rams twenty. Cards twelve, man. The afternoon games were kind of dog shit. I mean, they got they got interesting late because the Cardinals were trying to make a move here again. They did the bullshit where they kicked the field goal instead of going for the touchdown, where they really should have. Because if you drive all the way down there, just fucking go for the touchdown. Um, you did have the teaser, so you would have benefited from that. So, <laughs> but my teaser was blown up because the goddamn. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm right. saying. Maybe someone else had listened a little later, and they had they still had that teaser. Stafford um, didn't look particularly good. Like I, I don't know the 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 Rams just continue to own the Cardinals. Should have just leaned into that angle. Other than that, I I didn't have the the NFC West is as bad yeah. as we thought. Ryan, can I? Yeah, we, we were we were onto something, Sean. And this blew my mind. And I wanted to wait to talk to you before I actually put real money on this. But Carolina is favored by two and a half against Arizona. Next week, really? Where in Arizona? In air in uh, Carolina? Carolina? Yes. Wait, how are we not taking Kyler? I yeah. <laughs> wow, coming off a win for Matt Rule and Ben McAdoodle. Yeah, the Panthers don't <laughs> seem like a team that is going to win back to back games. So you're confirming that we should bet yeah, this. That right that now. could already be in the lock section. Um, Forty <laughs> ers ten, Broncos eleven. Uh, the, 49. No, t- again, this was another game where neither team wanted to win. I'm so disappointed. Uh, was on the 49ers. I thought they would show a little bit. Uh, obviously, the the play where Jimmy G runs out of the back of the end zone is just Ru- Russ owns hilarious. Russ owns Kyle Shanahan. It's true. It's fucking weird. Uh, Russ didn't own anything though. Like they they were fortunate to get 11 points. This was just a really bad game. And and even if you're a Broncos fan, like. <laughs> what do you, you're up to three, uh, three touchdowns for the season and you're two and one. 
you got to be you you have to be considering yourself pretty lucky. I mean, Russ was twenty for thirty three, one eighty four. He looked horrible. Um, Cortland Sutton had a good game. Uh, what really I think the difference was once Trent Williams went out for the 49ers, that that team really lost any sort of push up front. And I, I think the 49ers they're could in be trouble. in trouble because of the Trent Williams thing. Like if they can't <laughs> no, uh, no the, their the, defense the, still looks really good, but if they can't find someone to block for Jimmy G, they're they're completely fucked. The graph of me being like, all right, Trey Lance, he sucks. Oh shit, Jimmy G's back. They're gonna be fine. Oh, Trey Trent Williams out. This team sucks again. Uh, the only Jimmy thing that G's was annoying about the Jimmy G thing, besides the fact that uh, it was in my lock and he fucking killed me, was that now it's uh, Dan Orlovsky's off the hook. Oh, he was tweeting that he yeah. he went viral. He's like freedom. Um, no, it's not freedom. Now you're just one of two. Yeah, I'm rewatching this. Play. Yours is worse. The funny thing is that the happy feet. He just keeps going back. And honestly, it, I remember not being that upset because Bradley Chubb picks it off and takes it into the yeah. end zone. So they got fortunate there that it, that play happened. Uh, Plus, I don't remember Dan Orlovsky playing in any conference championship games. I could be wrong. But no, he's a fun guy to shit on. Yeah, got a lot of energy. That's good. That's good. <laughs> it's good for TV. All right, so it. Just, let's just say you were getting into early week teasers, Sean. Yep. Tampa plus two and a half hosting the Chiefs. Tampa's a home dog. Arizona plus two in. Carolina. So Arizona plus eight, Tampa plus eight and a half. Who loses? Arizona plus eight, Tampa plus eight. All right, I'm doing it. Okay. Well, no, it's it's interesting because uh you know, both uh both the Bucks and the Chiefs are coming off losses. Um, so that's gonna be interesting. <clears throat> uh look, here's my takeaway from this game. Uh Jimmy G can't I forget we forgot because like we forgot why he wanted to play Trey Lance so bad. Because Jimmy G throws ducks, we need to reappropriate the. Yeah, we have left coast, some duck. Yeah, I don't know if we can use bay. it for Tua anymore. Although <laughs> it is just so good, uh, so good for Tua. Uh, uh, that's all I got. I mean, uh, it, it it honestly had the Niners taking care of business, we would have been uh, talking about one of the the biggest days I've had in probably my life. As is, I had an amazing day. Very good day. Up, up zillions of units. <laughs> I'm literally swimming in units over here. Yes, just lots of units. Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't know what, what, are, what are, what are we talking about? What else do we do here, Ryan? Oh. We're, we're gonna get to some Monday night props before we do that. Shout out to the Elias Game Plan app. Love the Elias Game Plan app. Tons of great nuggets for fantasy and for betting, including Daniel Jones, who's trying to buck a trend where he's zero and eight, zero and eight straight up. In primetime games in his NFL career, Ryan, we'll have to get them to update this to Dan Jones, who is O and O, yeah, and making you. his primetime debut. debut. Uh, again, the Elias Game Plan app. There is just so much good information here. You can you can never find enough good info. Uh, Elias isn't just some algorithm; it's actual people working actual spreadsheets, cranking out good good information. You can never have enough when it comes to betting professional football. All you got to do is download the app E L I A S, the Elias Game Plan app, and use our promo code SGPN15. Helps us out and helps you out. You get a 15% uh, 15% off your annual subscription. The Elias Game Plan app, promo code SGPN15. Get that 15% off and you're good to go. Uh, last but not least, Fubo TV. Love me some Fubo TV. We got it going over here on God's Eye, helping us out with the teardrop couple of the extra TVs because they have NFL red zone, college and pro football games in 4k fraction of the price of cable and the cloud-based DVR. Great. for going back and rewatching games like the Philadelphia Eagles getting a nice win and cover over the Washington commanders. Again, no contract, no commitment. You can cancel any time and you try Fubo TV free for seven days and you get 15% off your first month. That is a deal. Just go to Fubo TV.com slash SGP. F U B O T V dot com slash S G P. All right, Kramer, time for the Monday night props. All right. How do, which what do you want to start with? Start with the props. I'll All give right. my first one. Daniel Jones under a half interceptions, Ryan. What? Yep. What are you doing? Um, what are you doing right now? What the fuck are you doing? I don't think 
they've set up an offense the fuck where are you doing? he they are not letting him throw risky throws. He's 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 conservative, Dan. He's going to work. I don't think they're gonna let him throw a ton. Give me under half interceptions. Ryan, you realize we're I'm fading the Cowboys as well. I I I think I see what you're saying, but uh, all right. Uh, we'll, we'll can you like the over? I uh, I just it, it seemed yeah I I, I it, w- it wasn't the first thing I was looking to do. <laughs> uh, Sterling Shepard over forty four and a half receiving yards. I thought about the four and a half catches. I'd rather do this. I think he could run some stuff down the field. Look, uh, clearly with the way he's been used over the first couple of weeks, Dan likes throwing to him. He runs the slot stuff. It makes sense. And the well, slot. How's the slot? Kenny Galladay. Uh, who knows? Maybe he'll be a healthy and active. Uh, Kadarius Tony <laughs> is out, and uh, they still have his props available. He's he's out at what well, maybe he's ruled as questionable, but he's not going to play. Yeah. Lando Robinson out. Uh, look, Sterling Shepard is going to receive a decent amount of targets in this game, so his his receiving props uh, are probably all overs for me. I'll pick the re- receiving yards to to throw the the dollars on. Uh, next prop up, give me Daniel Jones under two hundred and a half passing yards. He hasn't gotten to the uh, Mendoza line oh. yet this season, and I don't think he is. I I, I think Dayball is a smart coach. He knows what he has in Dan Jones. He's a workman like you know eighteen for twenty five for one seventy five, and uh, that's all. That's what you're going to get from Dan. Not a lot of touchdowns. Not a lot of interceptions. Not a lot of deep balls. Just some easy stuff across the middle and some check down to Saquon Barkley. Yeah, it's, uh, whatever you have to say. I, look, they're going to take some shots against these uh, the secondary. Yeah, Whether but or not I get they the, convert. Yeah, the passing yards means you have to convert. Tony Pollard over seventeen and a half receiving yards. The Giants have not done well to defend mm. running backs in the pass catching game. They they kind of got lucky with uh, McCaffrey and Carolina just being horrible. Uh, but we, we, you remember what Hilliard uh, on Tennessee did to them in just a couple catches. So I think it could be a similar thing. Pollard won't need more than one or two to, to get over this 17 and a half yards in the receiving game next. Yes. My final prop Ryan. Yes. This is my, of these, this is my favorite one. Graham going to over one and a half field goals <laughs> guys, a machine coming off a four for four game. Although he may struggle in, in the Meadowlands or whatever you're calling it, Jet Life Stadium, uh, Giants love settling for field goals. Give me over one and a half. All right. Yeah, as you said, Ryan, he's best, the best guy on the best team. Best player on the team. Uh, look, this is. Uh, I'm just gonna stay in the same category because I, I do think that you're right with the checkdowns, and that's why I'm gonna say that Saquon Barkley. Gets over his. I mean, his catch prop is is creep has crept up to three and a half. His yardage still only twenty two and a half. So give me Saquon to go over twenty two and a half receiving. So you yards. you like that better than the 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 catches? Mm, probably. I you know I almost threw out a Micah Parsons sack prop because for him to get over three quarters he's feeling, of the sack, he's feeling ill. Ryan is plus one fifty. What? So, yeah. <laughs> All right, I gotta add that to my sheet. Micah Parsons over. You're not. You're now. You're taking. Wait, what is it? Uh, three quarters of a sack. Yeah, that's what they do to you know. Uh, sorry, plus one oh five. Uh, not one fifty. I did okay. uh, d- dyslexia in my head. Yeah, I mean, it, either. Way, I know I'm he's. Sure, you still like it. He's ill, and he's tweeting out like some Jordan flu game memes. So I think they'll shoot him you up. You can't with whatever do you that. You can't call your own shot with a flu game, right? That's not how it works. He's putting that out there. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh. Is this is this a locker room? I I know they have bulletin board material, but you do they print out the beam and put it on the bulletin board? Uh, if how he's does feeling that sick, they're gonna want to make sure he stays away from Andrew Thomas because Andrew <laughs> Thomas is gonna shut him down. Okay. He's not gonna get a sack on Andrew Thomas. You want to make that bet? I'll take the under. Any more props? Or are we stopping at three? Uh, I got three, and then we got some uh, first ta- uh, first touchdown. I got a DJ. What D- do you got? D- Hashtag Dejans only. Saquon Barkley, 150 rushing and receiving yards and two touchdowns. Wait, 
<laughs> he has to get 150 rushing. Oh, total yards. Yeah. Okay. And two touchdowns. And two touchdowns. Uh, sixty-five to one. <laughs> Fifteen to one. Really? Oh man, I wish I was booking that action. Oh, stop it. <laughs> I mean, one hundred fifty yards. And I have two one. Touchdowns? I have one that you'll like. Okay. Except maybe not, but most of it you'll like. Both teams to go over a half field goal. You okay. still with me? Yep. First quarter over one and a half sacks. Halftime over two and a half sacks. Giants win first half full game. Okay. 18 to one. You know what, Ryan, why don't, while we're here, why don't we just throw on a little, uh, a win bet, yeah. build your own let's, bet. Let's thought I just give you. Oh, okay. That was your win bet. Pay, build pay, your own pay bet. I already did that. You're doing it real time. <laughs> Uh, start going, giving out, start giving out your uh, first touchdown, and I'll I'll work on crafting my uh, build your own bet. Well, I I wanted I actually want to hear who you have for first touchdown, and I, so I don't I avoid taking them. But <laughs> okay, no, I mean I have I have a number of plays here, and okay. and I know that um it, it's harder for some people to craft first touchdown bets, so I'm willing to to go second. King Kramer, I'm willing. showing Surf Sean some. <laughs> Some uh, throwing me a bone here. I'm, I'm willing to, you know, but no rush. We can talk about some other. No, I'll give you my first touchdown bets. Uh, Dan Jones, twelve to one, first touchdown. Cooper Rush, twenty-eight to one. I think he's still interesting, uh, even though he's not a huge. Uh, what small was your price on Dan Jones? Twelve to one, not fifteen to one. Okay, okay, fifteen no, to one. I was gonna say, I, I, just I just harvested harvested this number recently. Cavante Turpin, seventy to one. Of course, you have the special teams aspect in there. Shout out to the Jersey Generals. And then uh, Bellinger, tight end for the Giants, twenty five to one. So those are those are my four, Ryan. All right, I I also have Dan Jones because why the fuck not? Uh, but for my, uh, I like your Dan Daniel Bellinger. He okay. he looks great. Our our gals from San Diego State, but give me Chris Myrick. Two catches in his career, two touchdowns. Had one earlier this mm. year. Sean, he used to wear a number in the 40s. Now he wears a number in the 80s. So he's a fullback disguised as a tight end. You know what his price is? 90 to 1. Let's fucking go. So Dan Jones, 15 to 1. Chris Myrick, 90 to 1. On the other side of the ball, I'm going to play. I. I don't know what I'm doing, but I just love I love the that Kramer game so much. Disgusting act. Give me Tony Pollard. They're gonna have issues defending the running back. <laughs> like Thirteen to one, and for my second Cowboy, because I'm fair and honest. Give me the Dallas Cowboys defense. What? Give me <laughs> thirty-five oh to one. I feel like this is some weird sort of trap, Ryan. I I I almost should I go double defense? Is this a defensive touchdown first score kind of game? I don't know. I wasn't. No. I wasn't catching that vibe. No. Tony Pollard, Dallas defense, Dan Jones, Chris Myrick. Let's go. All right, Ryan. I I was uh, over here one? in the uh, back in the tool shed. Got it. It's going to pay out seven hundred billion and a trillion three hundred million. That's uh, big. Give me New York Giants minus six and a half. Oh, <laughs> Saquon Barkley, uh, forty plus receiving yards. Tony Pollard, thirty plus receiving yards. Guess what that pays, Ryan? Is that does that pay better than eighteen to one? Yes, it does. Twenty five to one. Let's go, baby. Hmm. Might have to le might have to leverage some more equity to <laughs> yeah. invest. Yeah, that was, that was good. Uh, good show. <laughs> good show. <laughs> thanks, thanks for the review. If you're like Ryan and you like the show, drop us a, a rating and review. Uh, uh, merch Monday is going to be pushed back to Tuesday because the Merch Monday pot will. Right now, it's a hundred dollar gift uh, gift card. But if the Giants win and complete the sweep, the gift card will be two hundred dollars. We've already gotten a decent number of entries, so just screenshot you uh, leaving a review, either Apple Podcast or a Spotify. Spotify. All you have to do is drop five uh, five stars on that. Pretty easy. Screenshot it, submit it in the app, and you're automatically entered. Sean, we do have a call. Oh, we do. Do we want to take a call before we get out of here? Oh, you know what? I I had apologies. I had missed the calls. Oh. But yes, let's uh let's close it out. He's using a 
Eli Manning has his profile. His name is Serial. Serial, thanks for calling in, man. What's happening? No much. What's up, guys? Yeah, sorry, sorry, I missed you in the chat there. Appreciate you hopping in the good. Discord. Uh, what do you got for today? Anyone you want to shove in the locker? My official locker play has to be Jimmy G and what he did, ah, running out of bounds. Fucking pussy. Uh, what What do you no. got? Or any any big bets you cashed? Oh yeah, I cashed I cashed some good ones, but I wasn't going to let a Eagle fan and a Giants fan come up here and try to trash my Cowboys. Oh, oh no, no, here he is. <laughs> I'm here here to defend them and let you guys remember some things that may have you forgotten last year. About the Cowboys being six and zero oh in the division last year against the spread. That is a disgusting act. I like how he threw in against the spread. All right, <laughs> against so the spread. Yeah, plus, that's plus what matters. One, you know, we'll take it. <laughs> um, and also the over in division game. So the Cowboys are four and two last year, and the Giants went three and three last year. So in division overs. Okay. Here, here's what I was gonna say, Sean. We need a sound drop with like screeching tires, because <laughs> if you're staring in the rear mm -hmm. view that hard, you might just—I I don't know. I gotta, do you got I, any I gotta uh, finish the cereal, rest of the statement? Do you, do you have any plays uh, for the Monday night game? Oh. What do you got? Uh, I like Barkley anytime touchdown. I think that's gonna be good. Cowboys can't defend the run either, so um, probably he's gonna get a lot of work and. Noah Brown right now is at 37 and a half. So if he gets a little bit of boost because Gallup may not get a lot of snaps, I'm all for it. No, it's crazy because Gallup's price, even in first touchdown, is as if he's like the guy. I, I agree. Noah Brown props are vastly undervalued because everyone assumes. Yeah, here's the problem when you have Humpty Dumpty talking to the media and he's like, yeah, Gallup said he's ready to go. He's ready to go. So. <laughs> He's not gonna play all like I I guarantee Gallup. I mean, he's coming back from a, a what ACL, right? And this is another yep. one of those situations. Noah Brown and Cooper Rush clearly have some practice squad vibes going together, and I think that's the that's the guy to play. I love that over. Well, cereal, uh, worst of luck come Monday <laughs> and uh, for oh, the rest of the season. Sean's room for the Giants on Monday. It's <laughs> great. Listen, listen, just because your Giants can beat Tennessee and Carolina does not mean they're gonna be. Feeding the Cowboys <laughs> that can beat Cincy and lost to Tampa. All right, there's a difference there. Just remember uh, that. Uh, I'm looking at the schedule. The Giants aren't going to be tested with a real quarterback for a couple more weeks. So, and Kirk Cousins, uh, they're going to Minnesota. And uh, what, what is this? Let's see. The Giants. Yeah, we got Cooper Rush. We got Justin Aaron Rodgers in in London. That's the first time they'll face a real quarterback. So, <laughs> I'm worried, but I'm not worried, Sean. Hey, hey, thanks for calling in, man. Appreciate it. No problem. Thanks, guys. Let it ride. All right, Kramer. well done, Sean. Thank Great you show. for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. <laughs> three and zero, baby. It's the Sports Gambling show. Podcast. I'm Sean. Second, the money green. He's Ryan. Fuck the Cowboys. Kramer, let it ride. <laughs>